All right, hello shitters. Welcome to another episode of memes I fell for that I'm gonna tell you about so that you won't fall for them. We got the open broadcasting software over here recording. We are lubricated, all ready to go. This video is going to be about the fact that uh, this is self-evident, should be self-evident to a lot of people, but for some, including myself for a long time, it was not. And it's that training should be fun. Do not be confined to one training style. Uh, we will explain to you how to get out of that and why that sucks cock for pretty much everyone. The biggest takeaway from this video, no, this is a lot of bullet points. I know some people can't read very well. It's okay. Uh, we'll take it step by step. It's to train for what you want. Now, the number one, uh, number one point, these are in no particular order. All of them are equally as important. But uh, the one that I wanted to get out of the way first is that a lot of time, this will involve some form of cardio. Now, I know everyone's, you know, shitting themselves. Not so much now because it's become more mainstream to be like, oh yeah, I shouldn't be gassed out after running half a mile. But um, I know for a fact that like, it was at a time like blasphemous as shit to say like, haha, cardio, cardio is for losers, whatever. Or maybe that uh, cardio is when you warm up for five minutes on the treadmill. And that like, I don't know, bro, cardio is for small people who do CrossFit and whatever the shit. Uh, I am here to break it to you that if this is what you would like to train for, please do not hesitate to go ahead, go for it. For example, I know that sounds extremely obvious and it sounds like a nothing burger, but for example, do you think uh, Baki is cool and funny? If so, make some time to train for martial arts like that because there's a good chance that you'll enjoy that just as much, if not more, than just doing your 3 by 3s with your... 85% of your effective one rep max periodized and then you go up for whatever the fuck Because it's more specific to something that you actually get inspired by and that you actually care about Do you want to do parkour and shit? You play the new Assassin's Creed game and you're like wow this shit sucks because it's literally just like the you know It's just Assassin's Creed Palestine. It's like the same as the past whatever the however many games uh, But I like parkour then do that please God forbid if you want to train for, like, cross-country or track. Um, in my mind, you are a masochist. But at the same time, please, go for that. If you really, really like this concept, you've looked up to these fucking boxers, these fighters all your life, whatever, don't confine yourself to just weight training, please. Don't fall for that meme of cardio is stupid. And don't limit yourself, because some, like, fat people on Reddit will be like, Haha, well, cardio, cardio kills your gains. You will not be recovered in time. Actually, your tibias will fucking shatter in half, and you will not recover in time for your next secondary or tertiary squat day. With that cardio section being out of the way, uh, number two is that calisthenics can be the priority. A lot of the time like this, like, again, just think about how you got into uh, the, the fitness side of things. It most likely wasn't, it most likely your first exposure to this and what really made you like uh, going to the gym in the first place wasn't like actual fucking powerlifting and like purely weight training. For some people it may have been Arnold Schwarzer something, I can't remember how his name ends, maybe some of you can fill me in in the comments. Uh, maybe it can be him, in that case yeah go for it, fucking weight training, very cool. But, I know for a fact that for example me, uh, calisthenics, just doing, seeing Chris Hernia, Igor Wojtenko, doing push-ups, pull-ups, and shit in the park, a bunch of African gentlemen in New York doing park calisthenics, being cool as shit, I'm like, hey, I wanna do that, uh, and then I lost sight, and I started doing fucking 5 by 5s so calisthenics can be the priority, they are not, um, inferior to barbells, if your goal is to, you know, do hypertrophy shit, uh, and the strength numbers on calisthenics, the, the, you're not, like, it doesn't make you weaker uh, if you fucking have very impressive, like, relative strength on pull-ups than if you have, like, some fucking double body weight squat but you, like, weigh 400 pounds. It's, like, it's all relative. Obviously, the fucking 400-pound guy who can squat <laughs> nine plates could probably, like, knock you out, but uh, do not feel forced to, into doing one or the other, right, and it doesn't detract from who you are, from whatever, and it doesn't detract from how much muscle you'll grow if you train calisthenics sufficiently hard, now, I'm not the authority to speak on that, because I'm fucking guy 18 months into my training, so, um, I guess I'm overstepping my boundaries a little bit, 
but eat the meat, spit out the bones, like, I, I don't know who I heard it from first, says. Next point, do not feel bound to one style of weight training if it's not authentic to you. This is, uh, the example is the classic 5x5 five five troll, where someone watches the Hamza aesthetic body t uh, video, and, like, he listens to it, but he doesn't really listen to it, so he's like, oh, cool, I should probably get into the gym, and then he looks up how to get into the gym, cool, for beginners, and then he finds the fucking strong lifts program, you know, squatting three days a week, alternating, uh, fucking bench press and press or whatever, I can't remember the strong lift program. But that program is made for a very specific portion of, like, people training for, like, I'm pretty sure it's powerlifting specific or general strength, one or the other. In any case, you, do, you did not actually give a fuck about the end result of what the program has to offer. And sure, you'll get something that's, like, kind of specific to your goals, like, you'll get a little bit bigger and you're, like, you'll see the numbers go up and intrinsically that'll make you, that'll activate the neurons and make you be like, oh, yay, fucking, I love this. And then you just go into that spiral, and you're like, hold on a minute, I wanted to get fucking huge lats and arms, and I'm just like, I just have a massive ass because I fucking squat three days a week. So, uh, yeah, stop that before it's too late, before you stray away from that. That's why I call it the classic 5x5 five five troll, because uh, it's the most common routines that get assigned to people, regardless of their goals, is to just do starting strength, bro. Do you want to train for a marathon? Just fucking starting strength. Iteration 2, do some power cleans. Now, P.S. for this section, even if a style of training is objectively ass, like the funny Sigma yogurt male video I discussed in my previous video, if you can stick to it, put your all into it and make it work for you, it will be better than half-assing the most goaded, you know, ball dominant man, beast slayer, natural hypertrophy, fucking Mike Israel, RP hypertrophy app, artificial intelligence, crafts the most perfect program for you. If you just don't put any effort into that whatsoever and just you rely on the, you know, paper and the words to do all the work, you're going to get shit on by the guy who just uh, looks up like those like Brazilian, like shitty, shittily translated thing where it's like lay down on bench, press plate bar for nine reps of 12 sets or some shit. And it's like if that guy does that very primitive program, puts his all into it, fucking he's going to make better progress than you now. If you give your all to a program that actually, like, fits with your goals and is optimal, you, you know, it's a shitty buzzword, but um, that is optimal for what you want to do. Obviously, you'll make better progress than if you fucking put your all into, into the dog shit program, so get the best of both worlds there. But if you can only have one, make sure that that dedication and that authenticity is there first. Now, this does not mean to go easy. Um, the biggest way to see whether or not you're coping with this as you can tell, I like to discuss copes in a lot of my videos, is with the needs versus wants analysis. ALA, well, on man, I'm not sure how to say that. Fucking ALA, Allah, I'm not sure. For example, if you want big legs, then you'll need to do difficult leg movements to maximize that, right? Uh, you can't just simply, okay, I'm going to train for what I want, but I want big legs, but I don't want to do squats or fucking leg press or whatever. You're not going to reach your goal that way. You're going to have to do shit that you don't want to do in order to reach the higher purpose and the higher, um, what's it called? Higher goal that you set for yourself. Now, if you do not care about your legs that much, then there is no need to squat three days a week. This is all I'm saying. For the average person, uh, they do not care that much about getting their squat up. I care about getting my squat up to a very specific number, and then I will fuck off that lift for, like, a very long time. I will not release what the number is, I'm just going to hit it, and then I'm probably going to stop low bar swatting. Now, if you are one of these people who just does not care that much, there is no need to start every workout with a fucking squat for low reps, and to do that every single time you go into the gym. Now, any maximized result you would like to have is going to involve hard work that you don't feel like doing. So you need to know the difference between this. For example, even if, like, I want to get the biggest bench press possible, now, this is going to involve me fucking not going boss to the wall every time and maxing out, even though that's what I would like to do to get the biggest uh, bench possible. Use the battering ram strategy, whatever you would like to call it. You need to pull back sometimes. You can't just go RPE 10 single every single day. Uh, you need to do this, you would say. If you want something, notice the things you need to do. 
if you do not want something, then you do not need to do the thing associated with achieving that. Hope that helps. Hope that if you were straying off in the direction of a fucking... In most common cases are just, like, turning people into powerlifters, but it could be, could be anything else. If you just think another exercise or another way of training is cool, check that out. Conversely, if you think that a method of training is cool only because someone else does it and you don't actually like it yourself, don't do it. Fucking all goes back to authenticity. Train for what you want. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Peace. Oh, shit. I keep forgetting. Dog. I keep forgetting that I'm not recording with that video.